Good afternoon, Kunle. How are you doing? Hope your nose is no longer bleeding. Ah, Doki. The matter fear me. But as you tell me, say, make a pinch my nose, make a breathe through my mouth, put ice for my nose, the thing can't stop. Ach! 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 Sorry, Kunle. I see that your allergies are acting up. See, eh, Doki? All this early morning, ach! Ach! Don't tire me. Any small dust or smoke now, Wahala. Doki, you need to explain more to me about this allergy thing. But uh, wait first, Doki. Waiting they cause make nose they bleed because that matter yesterday fear me. Welcomely, as per nasal bleeding, there are several possible causes. One of the very common causes is nose picking and any other forms of trauma to the nose. I mean injury to the nose. With children who make a practice of sticking their fingers up their nose or toys into their nose, they can easily injure a very dense collection of blood vessels in the nose and it can bleed. Ah, Doki, <laughs> not be only small picking they put finger for nose. I get some <laughs> elderly picking for my area. Any small thing like this, schwa, I don't put finger for nose. I am a Welcomely, I agree it can be very irritating to see adults putting their fingers in their nose. Anyway, again, because of that collection of blood vessels in the nose, when the weather is very dry like in Hamatan season, the nose can bleed. Oh, oh Doki, no wonder Shegs, my paddy tell me, say, eh, for Hamatan season, he said don't experience this nose bleeding several times. So what in person we can't do about them now? Well, taking a lot of water to stay well hydrated, you know, or using Vaseline in the nostrils or these humidifier machines that help turn water to vapor to keep the air in the room moist. Or in some cases, we can recommend saline drops to help with the situation in people who have a tendency to bleed during dry seasons. Okay, Doki, other causes, Unko? Though debatable and not as common, Someone with a dangerously high blood pressure can have their nose bleed. And yet, while it is not as likely, it's important to check your blood pressure and ensure it's fine. There are too many young people walking around there with dangerously high blood pressures and oftentimes they don't know anything is wrong until they have symptoms that are related to damage that has happened to the brain, the kidneys, the eyes, the heart. Now true you talk, Doki. As you don't tell me before, now so person go just sleep, wake up, you get stroke. I be then go talk, say he just collapse, die. Then no go no say na BP, don't they cause katakata for your body small small. Anyway, Doki, what thing come cause my own nose bleeding? I know they put finger for nose. And then well, I know say I'm at and they small, but I just they wonder. Oh. Welcomely, that brings me to your allergies. There's a tendency for people that have infections in the nose or sinuses or who sneeze often to have nosebleeds. You have allergic rhinitis and with this your sporadic bouts of sneezing and rubbing the nose and blowing your nose vigorously, it's likely that you traumatized the blood vessels in your nose and they started bleeding. Doki now wow, this allergy matter weak me. But what did they cause her now? Well, Kunle. As I must have told you when we first had this discussion about your allergies, it's something that is genetic and often runs in families. And this allergy thing manifests in different ways in different individuals. But usually, if you find someone who has allergies, check it. It's likely their parents or a very close relative also has allergies. Hmm, Doki. It means I'm going to watch Junior to see whether himself will develop these allergy problems. Okay, Doki, tell me more about how these different allergies they show. Yeah, Kunle. Okay, those who have allergies can have symptoms as simple as having frequent episodes of catar, runny nose, which is usually clear, you know, and watery. And they could also have a tendency towards itching the eyes and the nose very often. Occasionally, the eyes could be red and itchy and even when it is not the whites of the eyes are never really clear and sometimes have spots on them and they usually have like eye bags and darkening of the skin under the eyelids doki na me they talk about ba because many of these things where you talk now you be like say na me eh? but what about the sneezing well only like you people with allergies can have serious bouts of sneezing especially in the mornings 
or after exposure to simple things like dust, smoke, strong smells like perfumes and other things like that. Okay, Doki, I they feel you. Carry go. Thanks, Kunle. For others, their manifestation is with the skin. Some have very sensitive skin and any little insect bite, the area is all red and itchy. And some would have what we call hives, where the skin is raised in different areas and very itchy. Others can have a dark kind of rash, dark scaly rash around the neck, you know, the armpits, the inner aspect of the elbows and other hidden areas like that. This is what we often refer to as allergic dermatitis. Ah, my own matter no reach that level though. Thank God. Hey Bodoki, I remember say one time where I, when I day NYSC camp, where they like to they drink one fura the no no you got like that. I notice say my palms them they red, they scratch me. But I say even my tongue mouth they scratch me. Uh, that one unko. Hmm, Kunle, it could be that you are allergic to millet or some other things that were in that yogurt. Some people actually have food allergies, especially to things like nuts, wheat, and so on. And in some cases, these food allergies can be so bad that if the person is exposed to that particular kind of food, the person can have a severe allergic reaction which can keep them from being able to breathe normally and they can even die if not treated urgently. Ah, now what for this allergy matter? I even hear say asthma self na allergy de cause Yes, Kunle, asthma is one of the manifestations of allergy. With asthma, just like other allergies, the body overreacts to certain things when exposed to it and that's what causes the symptoms. When an asthmatic comes in contact with dust, smoke, strong smells. It is like the soldiers guarding their breathing pipe and lungs go crazy trying to protect the body. Doki Adi, try understand. Break and down, make it clear. Okay, Kunle. Imagine a five-year-old boy approaches the gate of your estate with a few stones in hand. And in response, you see your security men pull out their guns and they are screaming and closing the gate to prevent this five-year-old boy from entering your estate. Ah, Doki, now to fire those gate men be that. Small picky, wa go sound one slap, now we go do all right. Now you gate man, they carry AK-47 come out for. Well, yes, Kule, that's a beautiful picture of what happens in an asthmatic. When an asthmatic comes in contact with simple triggers that will make the average person give a small sneeze or simple cough, to get the allergen out. In asthmatics, the body goes into overdrive and it's like the soldiers and the gatekeepers to the breathing pipe and lungs are screaming, close the gates, close the gates. As a result, the body produces excessive secretions and the breathing pipe becomes narrow. And this makes it very difficult for air to get in and out of the lungs. And usually they develop a lot of cough with fast breathing and sometimes they can make a wheezing sound that sounds something like <sighs> and if situation gets really bad and they are not treated promptly their breathing can go almost totally silent and they can stop breathing and even die um serious matter i don't know say ask my serious like this so yes Kunle. and that's why we keep speaking against self-medication some children don't get diagnosed on time because when they develop this kind of cough that is not very serious, they walk to a nearby pharmacy where they are prescribed, you know, they are given certain kind of cough syrups which may contain one of the drugs that we use to treat asthma. So they get better and it's only until things get very severe that they see the need to present at the hospital. And because asthma is a progressive illness, sometimes by the time they arrive, the changes in the airway have gone so far, making treatment a little more difficult. Hmm. Okay, Doki, these allergies them now for life. Well, Kunle, since most cases of allergies are genetic, symptoms can actually continue throughout life. But some people outgrow it over time and with treatment. <coughs> okay, Doki, I don't learn plenty today. Make a go. Hmm, Kunle. 
Seems you are having postnasal drip with this your repeated throat clearing. Bele, I'll write some medications for you so that we can help you deal with this your allergy flare. Thank you, Doki. I did bless her get you. You too much. It's fine, Kunle. It's always good to have you around. The Olofofo specialist himself. Investigative journalist extraordinaire. Greet Titi for me and give Junior a kiss for me. See you later. Hello, people. Hope you enjoyed the just concluded Kunle Olofofo series. Nose bleeding occurs in some people and you'll find in the bio the link to Apoko Doctor's video on simple ways to stop nose bleeding. But more importantly, we spoke about allergies and asthma. There are a lot of people out there who have these problems and it's important that you get the right kind of care. It's important that you avoid those things that trigger your allergies so that you can live your best life. It's possible to deal with them, though challenging, but you can work things out. And very importantly, like I said, ensuring that the right diagnosis is made for whatever it is, whether the skin lesions or sneezing or difficulty breathing as, as you will have in asthma, getting the right diagnosis and the right kind of treatment is important for you to do very well. So till next time, Kunyu Lufuku is right by the corner, cooking up another interesting series for you. Please like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about Kunle Olofofo Doki Oni Ferry. See you later.